What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we got a major update on the future of the Halloween franchise here today. I did a video like two months ago at this point giving you an update on what could possibly be on the way next for Michael Myers and Malik Akkad of course. So Sinistealth again just to recap where we started off two months ago. Sinistealth who again is a reliable scuba who's been right about Freaky Friday too. They were right about the Crystal Lake TV series. They were right about Nev Campbell's in Scream 6 and they continue to just be right once again with stuff like this coming out. We're going to get to that. Sinistealth put out this tweet two months ago. Executive producer Malika Cod has already heard multiple pitches, formal and informal, about where to take the Halloween franchise next. But nothing is set in stone and any ideas will need to be shopped around to new studios, distributors. Blumhouse, of course, is out. We already knew that. And they said that a TV series is on the table. Now, this was two months ago back in July. Um, I've also already told you guys that one of the rumors that I've heard about allegedly we are not going to be getting a Halloween 4 legacy sequel because of a feud that either has hopefully fizzled out or doesn't exist anymore existed between Daniel Harris and Malika Cod. Maybe she necessarily doesn't even know about this, but apparently Malika Cod himself does not have an interest in doing a Halloween 4 legacy sequel and apparently seems to be very bothered by Danielle's insistence on taking the franchise in that direction. Also, he seems to not be in agreement with how she reacted or responded to quote unquote Jamie Lee Curtis's disrespect towards her at the Halloween Ends premiere. And the fact that she was seemingly trying to make that about herself, he didn't like that because that was Jamie's night. But that again is all an alleged rumor as to why that is one of the reasons we will not be getting a Halloween 4 Legacy sequel. If we get a Halloween 4 Legacy sequel, then that's fine with me. But apparently that's off the table because of that alleged spat that happened between Malik or that spat and feud that allegedly existed between Malik and Danielle. Now, today we got this article from Bloody Disgusting who confirmed what basically Sinistealth was saying. So I'm going to go over this whole thing. Last Halloween season marked the release of Halloween Ends, the final film in the three film trilogy from director David Gordon Green. Build is the final battle, really this time, between Laurie Strode and Michael Myers. Halloween Ends wrapped up not only Gordon Green's sequel trilogy, but also Universal and Blumhouse's time with the iconic horror franchise. The sequel trilogy was produced by Blumhouse Productions and, re and released into theaters by Universal Pictures as part of a pact with Miramax. And the ball is now back in Miramax's court. So what's next for the Halloween franchise? Bloody Disgusting can exclusively report that Miramax is actively shopping the rights to the Halloween franchise around Hollywood. From what we understand, there is a massive bidding war going on right now with several different parties interested in vying for the chances to bring Michael Myers back to life. Bloody Disgusting sources have also indicated that Miramax is open to both film and television projects and they're currently taking offers from studios and streamers alike. Everything is on the table at this time and it's ultimately up to Miramax to fill pitches and decide what is most appealing to them in the wake of Gordon Green's sequel trilogy. Last year's Halloween Ends was the 13th installment in the Halloween franchise, which to date has never made its way onto the small screen. Could Michael Myers return with a could Michael Myers return with a television series or is another feature film reboot next up on the menu? Only time will tell. Now, I will say this. This is a very exciting report. It confirms the next direction that was again talked about from me and reported by Cinestelf two months ago at the time being a rumor. And again, Cinestelf continues to prove themselves to be reliable. We now know that Miramax is taking pitches. There's an active bidding war going on to have the rights to bring Michael Myers back to life. If they were to go down the TV series route, I would only hope to see something that is still set around Michael Myers, but maybe leaning more on the character of Dr. Loomis to carry it and not Michael Myers himself, obviously, because Michael Myers is supposed to be mute, not speak too much. We don't need to really dig into his childhood that much. We can have some encounters, though, with Myers and Loomis, with the story being told mostly through the eyes of Loomis and kind of seeing Michael's grow. We can see how he's spending his time at Smith's Grove, but the person carrying the story shouldn't be Michael Myers. It should be Dr. Loomis. And it can build towards a season where he finally escapes. Maybe do something like that. Maybe start off as this psychological drama that escalates into a very successful slasher season, maybe in its second season. Not the first one. Like the first one, I could see you probably committing it to completely just Dr. Loomis and his encounters with Michael Myers and his concerns about Michael Myers and the threat that he poses to the general public if he were to get out behind these out from behind these walls, which he ultimately will, because it's, again, basically going to be retelling the story of Michael Myers through the lens of Dr. Loomis. That's the type of TV series I could see working, find a very prominent and compelling actor to bring Dr. Loomis back to life the way that Donald Pleasance did during his era, rest in peace to him, and 
tell the story through that man's lenses and let us see these encounters that he had with Michael Myers when Michael Myers was a young boy, working your way up to his inevitable escape and toss in new characters. Don't give us Laurie Strode. Don't give us Annie. Give us somebody completely new that becomes Michael's obsession when he breaks out in whatever year it is going to be set in. You can set it in 1978 again if you would like to, but I could see something like that working. Do a first season as a psychological drama, second season as a full-fledged slasher that's set years Years later, Myers is all grown up. He escapes and he goes after a whole new crop of characters. No reason to tell retell Lori Strode's story because we've already been there, done that, and you just concluded what is supposedly her final involvement in the series. Now, if you were to revive the series with a film, you can do a variety of different things. Obviously, the Halloween for Legacy sequel, while I would like to see that, it would appear that that's off the table. Although it could always still happen. Things could be patched out or hatched out between them two. And we could get that. Or you could just do a completely different thing, but in the same vein of a TV series, just do it in a feature film. Set it in the same universe, or different, not the same universe, but different timeline, same killer, Michael Myers at the center of it. He breaks out of Smith's Grove, returns home to Haddonfield, gives a whole crop of new characters to center it around. Setting it in the modern days could work too if you want to shake up the timeline of when Michael Myers was born and when he escapes, you can do that too play around with it that way have michael myers involved with social media and all that stuff dig into that a little bit more obviously gen z could eat up that a little bit better than most uh i am gen z but i think that having some type of social media aspect involving michael myers more prevalently because it wasn't as prevalent in the recent trilogy i think having a social media presence involving michael myers could be very compelling if done right those are some of the possibilities that i'm thinking of Obviously, again, the one option with Danielle Harris and her return completely off the table as of now, from what I know. And the TV show, while I've seen people say that can't work, I would argue that it could work. It just depends on what you want to do. And I know the other option that obviously still is possible is them doing an anthology series, whether that be in the form of a TV show or another feature film. Time will tell. I personally will go out and predict that the next thing we get is going to be a TV show. <laughs> I say that just as someone who has seen the success of the Chucky TV show and the uh, and the switch to the small screen for f Jason that we're about to get. I think that Michael is going to try to knock it out at the small screen level next. I think that's going to be the next big thing that can become a hit for one of these major streaming platforms. But obviously, it'll probably be Peacock because there were rumors about Peacock working on a TV show. But we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification in this video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. If there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.